yeah, uh, protein shake next at around seven, and uh, I do about like two uh, two cups of milk, uh, just to get that flow of protein in and make it all smooth. And I usually do uh, at least like four tablespoons of peanut butter because guys, this is the secret of bulking. It has so many calories and it has protein to it as well. Uh, like two tablespoons is like 190 calories. Going to games right there, guys. Games. Oh, right here. And then I usually do about two scoops of protein powder, which is like 40 grams of protein. And uh, that's how I make a protein shake. And After my protein shake, I do a little bit of abs, which is in the next clip here. But just before I do abs, uh, don't forget to take your roids. Oh, hell no! Pop in the, at least two of these every day, guys. Roids to get big, roids, roids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Alright guys, so after my protein shake, I like to hit a little bit of abs. I do 30 minutes every day. Even on a bulk or a cut, I do abs anytime. Actually, it's one of the best things to do on a bulk. That way you don't just build up a bunch of fat. I like to do Jeff Cavalier's ab workout. And if you guys want to do that workout, it's really intense uh, and it's awesome. If you guys want to do that workout, I'll leave a link in the description below. But otherwise, let's hit this abs guys. Let's keep going. Let's hit it hard. chicken and probably some rice and broccoli get those carbs and veggies in you know I like to have a little bit of uh, barbecue seasoning because you know I don't like bland food like bland food and stuff unlike Bradley Martin the, the blandest guy out there like, oh! to get a tan or something like that but yeah I just have barbecue, barbecue seasoning it's really good and yeah <laughs> yeah boy So we're down to our fourth meal, as you can already tell. I'm having chicken with rice and a little bit of bar barbecue sauce. Um, what I like to do is I like to set goals for myself. Like, like never, never imagine yourself as like somebody. Like, let's say Bradley Martin. Even though like Bradley Martin's small, guys. Just imagine yourself like better than Bradley Martin. You know what I'm talking about, guys? Come on, guys. We all know who's Bradley Martin. He's small. And he's small. But, um, yeah, but just set goals for yourself. That way, when you achieve those goals, you can set higher goals, which become even higher goals, and eventually making you bigger and better than Bradley Martin. 
or whoever you're trying to beat, you know? But, guys, Bradley Martin, that guy's small. <laughs> and guys, another tip. Um, if you're eating a lot and you seem that you're gaining a lot more fat, maybe you should cut down on the more food or cut down on the fat percentages of your food. That way you don't look like a power fatty or people like Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall. I mean, guys, come on. Eddie Hall is a freaking meatball. So, that's just a quick tip about, um, basically just do that. And, yeah. <laughs> Guess it, more chicken. Wow. Alright guys, that's going to conclude today's video. That's what it looks like in the day of the life of a team bodybuilder. And remember guys, stay big. Bruh.